I'm uh, originally South African, moved to Australia last year in March. I'm a doctor. I did a bit of a career change. I was a GP before, worked on cruise ships for a bit, and now I'm working in Gosford Emergency. Initially, um, it was quite a change. Um, the hospital, the whole emergency department was kind of segregated, so we had a part, uh, a section that was kind of the clean section where we saw people that was low risk for COVID, and then there was the high risk part um, where we had to wear full protective gear, the P2 masks, all the shebang, and it was horrible. Um, and you couldn't really help each other in the two places, so if it was really busy on one side, then you had to completely off, take off all your gear and then go to the other side so it was a bit of a hassle but it was actually quite quiet I think people were kind of scared to come to hospital. I think we're kind of pretty much back to normal I think now actually we, for the past couple of months we've been really really busy and I think it's a lot of backlog from people that were actually scared to come to hospital um, I've seen a fair few people with cancers that are presenting first time and I think it's all, of, all kind of delayed presentation from people not wanting to come into hospital initially. It's hard because, um, especially with sport, like a lot of the things obviously got cancelled. You couldn't really train together in groups, and sport is my social. It's my family away from my from my real family. Um, and at work as well, I think um, it's been hard for all of us, like wearing masks all the time, um, and you know, be, having to tell people's family that they're not allowed to come in when somebody's coming into hospital into emergency. It's it's hard, and it's not decision to make it's kind of policy so yeah oh well, yeah it was good um, I had to make a bit of a redemption last year I did it and I was very under conditioned so I couldn't walk for two weeks after and this year when I came to the finish line I was like oh this is it so yeah <laughs> it was good <laughs> I redeemed myself <laughs> I, I just love training for training it's what runs me. It's my fuel, it's uh, my motivation. I think I have much more energy if I train. If I don't, I'm just lethargic and I'm in a bad mood. So I think, yeah, for me, it's, as I said, it's my social, it, it makes me happy. Um, and I think I've got much more energy than, than I would have if I didn't train. how much time I have. <laughs> if I have days off, I basically two, three hours. And if I'm working, I usually try and do at least an hour. Well, I think you have much more energy. It helps you with the long shift work. It helps you with the change from day shift to night shift. Um, I'd say start, start in small steps, maybe walk for a minute, run for a minute, um, get out there. It's, it's a way to see the country, it's a way to socialise. Um, it's good for your heart, it's good for your brain. Yeah, just do it. 